What is going on, guys? It is Rocker X. Let's try to hear me. You, Jeff Hardy, Universe Mode Week 13. We are straight out of the Royal Rumble. And at the Royal Rumble, Jeff Hardy faced Randy Orton for the WWE title, and he won. And I'm sticking really fast. I'm not sure if you guys can understand what I'm saying, but I hope you guys understand. And, uh, yeah, Jeff Hardy's coming out here. You know, he's doing a face entrance because he won the WWE title. What do you expect? He's happy. So, you know, he's going to make the fans happy. Not really. I just can't find a, a proper entrance for him while he's healed, while he's holding a title belt. Um, I really hate that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna fix that with some superstar entrance, uh, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys understand that. And something I hope for WWE 2K14 is they get this resolved. Look at Jeff, like his belt is like hanging off. Alright, now he's speaking. Jeff Hardy's speaking, guys. He wants everyone to know. Ladies and gentlemen, your new WWE Champion, Jeff Hardy. Last night, I did what all you people said. Oh, my God. It's, I, I kind of did this a little fast. Whatever. Um, I hope this is not out of sync. Uh, a subscriber of mine told me in the comment section below that apparently uh, it's a little out of sync. Um, I'm not sure if it's out of sync, really, because it seems not good to me, to be quite honest with you. And I haven't had anyone else tell me anything, but apparently it is out of sync, so hopefully this is not out of sync. Um, but we have Triple H coming out here. What does the game have to say? Um, that would get away with Johnny Boy, but not with me, Jeff. You know these empty threats are starting to piss me off. You're mad about being attacked. Deal with it. This is the WWE, not kindergarten. I let John uh, take the night off to see what you would do. And let me say that tonight you and I are going to be facing each other. That's really fast. I can't read that fast. Hunter, if you want to be part of the Twist of Hate Club... Be my guest. Jeff, you know, you need to learn when to shut your mouth tonight. I'll be teaching you. I think that says yo. I'll be teaching yo or you. I think he means I'll be teaching ya. Yeah, I'll be teaching ya. Teaching ya, teaching ya, teaching ya. But yeah, let's go to universe mode. Uh, now the universe mode stuff, yay. <laughs> Alright, those are our champions, Jeff Hardy. Uh, if you guys were wondering, Brock Lesnar won the Royal Rumble. So, I think we might be facing Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania if he picks us. If not, we're probably going to be facing somebody. Alright, Big E versus Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel wins. Uh, Dolph Ziggler and uh, Jack Swagger win. Karma wins. Uh, I didn't uh, do that one. The Miz wins. And now Triple H versus the... I was going to say Triple H versus The Miz for some odd reason. But Triple H versus Jeff Hardy in a last man standing match. Oh my god. It looks like uh, Triple H really wants to shut up Jeff Hardy after, uh, you know, all these uh, threats. And, you know, he's been getting pissed off with Jeff Hardy. He does not like how Jeff Hardy is threatening to sue the WWE if uh, he doesn't get what he wants. So he's really pissed off. The game returning to action for one night to face Jeff Hardy. What could happen? Anything could happen. We could have... Bret Hart come out and, you know, do the sharpshooter on Triple H. We could have Mr. McMahon come back, turn heel, and, you know, attack Triple H. We could have Stephanie McMahon cheat on Triple H and come out and kiss Jeff Hardy. Anything could happen, guys. Anything could happen. But, um, yeah, I guess while the entrances are happening, I might as well, you know, speak about Raw yesterday. Well, right now it's uh, Tuesday night, but, uh, yeah, um, what do want what was I going to say? It's Tuesday night right now, but this should be up on Wednesday. Um, probably earlier than 6 p.m. I usually release Universe Mode videos at 6 p.m., but I'm going to be nice and, you know, release it at 3 p.m. And the next day I might be generous and release another Jeff Hardy Universe Mode video. And, um, yeah, another thing is I'm still considering what to do for my other Universe Mode or SmackDown. And that's why you have guys, I mean, I just said that totally wrong. Uh, that's why you guys have not seen it up on my channel yet, because I still don't know who to pick, and I still don't know which game to do, SmackDown, Raw 2011, or WWE 13. I kind of want to do a Road to WWE 2K14 series, um, so that's probably going to be what's called uh, Road to WWE 2K14, and I'm going to be picking somebody. I think I might do SmackDown, Raw 2011, and pick Rob Van Dam, and um, have fun with that, because, you know, RVD's back, he faced Chris Jericho on Raw, had a great match, first night back, and, you know, he's already, you know, being loved by fans. Um, again, I, I love how he's in the WWE and on TNA. I'll get to that in a second, but, yeah. I think I'll probably be doing Rob Van Dam. And hopefully, Rob Van Dam is in WWE 2K14. Um, I think he'll probably be DLC. If he didn't sign a deal with THQ after he left TNA in March, because he could have signed a quick deal with THQ and... 
you know, they could have put him in the game. I'm not sure what's uh, what's going to be happening with that. Um, hopefully, he is in the game because I, I would just love it, honestly. I would just, you know, I'd be five-star frog splashing everybody. I'd be five-star uh, five five, uh, frog splashing uh, Triple H, The Undertaker, John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan, Steve Austin. I'll be frog splashing everybody. I'll face the entire damn WWE roster. I'll be five star frog splashing even Santino Morella. And I have no idea why Hernandez is out here. Uh, this was when I, I can't believe I didn't get rid of him, honestly. This is from my TNA universe mode when they first started, when uh, WWE 13 first came out. And I, when Hernandez came out, I was like, what the hell are you doing out here? But yeah, um, you know, I'm happy that Raw Man Dams in WWE because. He did not fit in TNA. He looked miserable in TNA. Honestly, all the matches he had in TNA, I can't remember one where I was happy with. Um, I'm not trying to bash TNA or anything, but I, I just couldn't enjoy his matches in TNA. He just looked miserable there, and, you know, he didn't. it looked like he didn't give any fucks whatsoever, and, you know, he didn't really care about putting on great matches. But the match he had with Chris Jericho, oh my god, guys, it was just great. Um, you guys will probably be seeing a lot of uh, news for me, uh, covering news with uh, WWE 13 with Rob Van Dam gameplay. So expect that, I guess. So yeah, yesterday Raw was uh, pretty good. Um, I actually really loved it. Um, you know, John Cena versus uh, Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam is going to be great. Um, you know, at first I thought he wasn't going to pick Daniel Bryan because, you know, uh, he says, guys, guys, I respect the beard and everything. And when he said that, I was like, oh, he's not gonna be, he's not gonna pick Daniel Bryan. I was about to cry, honestly. But it was a great Raw, honestly. Um, I haven't really watched Raw all that much, but when I decided to watch it, I, I had a fun three hours. I gotta admit that. And you know, that's the reason I stopped kind of watching Raw because it was three hours long, and I did not enjoy those three hours because it was usually three hours of you know, bullshit and things I didn't like. It was just miserable three hours of my life, and I was just, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to pay attention, so I was like, I'm not going to watch Raw anymore. And, you know, yesterday I was like, I'll watch Raw today, you know, nothing better to do. And, you know, I had a great time. Uh, Punk versus Lesnar at SummerSlam is probably happening. Cody Rhodes versus Damian Sandow might be happening, and it might be for the briefcase. I honestly don't see uh, Sandow, uh, you know... I don't see him ready for the briefcase yet, so he might drop it to Cody Rhodes, kind of like Mr. Kennedy dropped it to Edge. I think that might be happening. I don't think uh, Sandow really is uh, ready for it, honestly. But that's just me, guys. I know he's, he's, he has a bright future ahead of him, but I think it's kind of too early for him to win it. But again, you know, things happen. I'm going to be okay with it if he does keep it, but I would rather have Cody Rhodes keep it, honestly. Um... You know, we had that, um, what else did we have? AJ and, uh, Dolph Ziggler breaking up and Biggie Langston turning against, uh, Dolph Ziggler. Now both of them are kind of, you know, away from each other. Ziggler's a face. And, you know, one thing about AJ, she reminds me of Mickey James when she was a lesbian for Trish, uh, Trish Stratus, if you guys don't remember that. Uh, Mickey James being a lesbian, that was totally hot. Um... <laughs> but yeah, it just reminds me of AJ for some odd reason. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys feel the same and everything. And if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, you guys should totally do it. Um, the link is in the description. You know, we could watch Raw together and you know discuss it. Um, and yeah, have fun. And this is one of the glitches I hope is fixed for W2K14. Uh, hold on, um, I'll show you when that happens. I really hope this is fixed for W2K14 uh, because it always bugs me and it always pisses me off when this happens. Uh, when that happens, I'll, I'll tell you guys. But, um, for now, let's just watch, uh, what's happening. Looks like Triple H is sending, uh, uh, party with another fail to the outside. It's gonna be the third fail. He's done, and the ref is starting to count. One. Two. Three. Uh, it looks like Jeff Hardy gets up at the count of three, and this is what I'm talking about. You grab a ladder, I mean a chair. The guy decides to come to the outside, and then your chair gets broken for no odd reason because he's that fat or something. I, I really don't like that. I hope that's fixed for WWE2K14. If it's not fixed, I'm going to be spamming Corey Ledesma, RB Sitterson, telling him, Hey, guys, fix this, please. You know, I'm going to be nice about it. I give those guys a lot of, you know, negative feedback, and I bitch at them a lot, to be quite honest with you. 
So I'm gonna be nice. I'm, I'm gonna try to be nice. I mean, I hope I have a lot of hope for the game, and I know the game's gonna be great. I just hope they improve some things. I mean, if they improve some things, that's gonna be great, honestly. And you know, a few seconds ago, Jeff Hardy used his teleportation. He used instant transmission right there to transport the ladder right there. But yeah, I have great hopes for the game. I just hope that for universe mode, they offer a lot more customization. Um, kind of like GM mode, but you know, um, still universe mode, but with the GM features where you're able to do number one contendership matches and all that, you have full control of the universe mode. That's kind of something I'm hoping for, and fucking Triple H just breaking the ladder over that DDT. Jeff Hardy's weight was that big that he broke the table, the announce table right there, guys. Um, but yeah, I have, I have, I have uh, um, stuttering, guys. I have high hopes for the game, and I hope you guys have high hopes for the game too, because if you don't believe in them, then who's going to believe in themselves, honestly? You know, I wish I wish I could, you know, be, you know, one of those guys working at WWE games, and you know, my position would be, look at the YouTube comments of famous YouTubers who do WWE games and tell me what the fans want, and you know, I would go over to Corey that does might be like, Corey, they want this in the game. They want to fight in the crowd. So give it to them and I'd punch them in the face. I wouldn't punch them in the face. I'm a pacifist so <laughs> I wouldn't punch anybody in the face. But yeah, I would just, you know, I would tell him everything the fans want. You know, it's not that they, get, they don't get what the fans want, but it's sometimes they add things that don't really matter all that much, honestly. But you know, I'm, with the news that came out today about uh, the new gameplay improvements, you know, I'm glad that they worried more about gameplay than graphics, you know. Who cares if the graphics are the same? For W2K15, when it's on next-gen consoles, we're going to have beautiful graphics, probably a new engine, more weapons in the ring, more tables in the ring, more ladders in the ring. Um, we might even have the Spanish announce table. I would just, I would just honestly, I would, I would, what's what I'm looking for? I would uh I would have a fangasm or something. I'm not sure what it's called. I oh I would mark out if WWE two K fifteen had a Spanish announce table and had those Spanish guys. I'd be like, fuck yeah. And I would just totally go over there and do the attitude adjustment on the Spanish announce table and then just look at them like la 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 But yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun with this video guys. I gotta just commentate and be serious now. But I don't think I can be serious anymore. I don't know why I couldn't do the Swanton Bomb over here. I was like, I'm going to do the Swanton Bomb. And then it was like, nope. You're not going to do the Swanton Bomb. Right here, I was going like, there we go. Right here. That's when I wanted to go for the Swanton Bomb. And I realized I couldn't do it. So I just did this instead. And I was like, well, shit. And right here, I couldn't do the Swanton Bomb either. So I was like, well, shit. Uh, I guess you can't do uh, diving finishers and last man standing matches, so I hope that's fixed for WWE 2K15. I mean, 14. God, if they don't fix it for WWE 2K14, I'll bitch at Court of Desma. I'd go and I'd do the choke hold, you know, Hell's Gates on him, and be like, Corey, why you no fix this? <laughs> but again, I'm just playing, guys. I'm, I'm gonna be nice to them. I'm, I'm gonna try to change my ways. I can change, guys. I can change. I hope you guys can understand that. And God, I have not been serious at all in this episode. But it looks like Jeff Hardy wins this, guys. Jeff Hardy beats Triple H. Jeff Hardy wins. Replay right there when Jeff Hardy's leg broke the ladder and the lights went out. What's happening? Oh, What's happening to Triple, Triple H being attacked by the what family? What the hell? Where's Jeff Hardy? Where's my lawyer? I gotta call people. They're just attacking Triple H, taking Triple H down. Where's Jeff Hardy? Did Jeff Hardy have anything to do with this? Where's Jeff Hardy? Rocker XXL, guys.